and Mr. Beasley to do a presentation about cameras. So you need to pay attention, put your money away, pencils down, your journal should be in your cubby now, and, and crayons. Thank you. Thank you. Good afternoon, boys and girls. Good afternoon. My name is Mrs. Giles, and I'm the president of a company that Fall on their feet. 
I think sometimes they fall on their sides or their back. Uh, dogs fight cats. They do. They really do. Now another thing that our company does, just a minute, sweetie, I'm going to let you ask me some questions in just a little while, okay? You know when uh, the big companies make cars, and they want to make them so safe, so if you have a wreck, you won't get hurt. Well, the way they do that, they make these cars, and they put dummies in them. And then they take the car, and they wreck it. And then they see what happens to the dummies. So they know how to fix the car so you won't get hurt as bad like Do you always use your safety belt? Yes! Because if you don't, you may go right out through the window, right? Yes. Right. Several years ago, Hollywood, you know where they make movies? there was an amusement park over in Norfolk, and it had a great big roller coaster. And they were going to tear this amusement park down because they wanted to build houses. So when Hollywood found out that this big amusement park was going to be torn down anyway, they were making a movie called Roller Coaster. And they needed for this roller coaster to have a wreck. So when you saw it in the movie, you thought real people were going to get hurt, right? <coughs> well, they have people in Hollywood that are stunt people. And all they do is they practice falling and they practice jumping so that they won't get hurt. But when you see the movie, you think it's the movie star that's doing it. Right? I'm going to ask Miss Blackwood to hold this. And we're going to show you what happened. See right up here in the corner? Yeah. There's a car, a roller coaster car. And it's having a wreck. Well, we took all these pictures. And you can watch this car as it comes. See, it comes off of the top of the building after it's come off of the roller coaster. And it gets into the building right here. There's five people in this car, right? And they're real, really real people. They're stunt people that do this for a living. Okay, they keep on. And if you look at the pictures all the way across, you can see where the car runs into the building and these five people start falling out. Well, they fall, and they fall, and this one lady right here, she fell and hit the ground, and do you know what happened when she hit the ground? What? She hit so hard that she bounced back up, <laughs> and then she <laughs> fell again, and then they came and got her. Now, she got hurt. Most of these people don't, but she got hurt and had to be taken to a hospital. Most of the time they don't, but one of our photographers, where I work, went over to the, to the uh, amusement park in Norfolk and took these pictures. So we know this is what happened because we took the pictures ourselves. We also took a picture of another wreck over there. Let's see. And the same thing happened. Show them the picture of the body. Starting here. And the car was going. And here. Started going sideways. Started falling down. Here they are falling, falling, falling. And then all the way. And they're all on the ground. Oh, that would be scary, wouldn't it? Yeah. Would you want to be in that car? No. No way. There's all kinds of, of 
job we would have for Ms. Grower. Like, if you all are really interested in photography, you can be a photographer. We have photographers. We sell our cameras all over the world. We sell them Japan and Australia and Canada and just about any country, Israel, about any country you can mention, we have cameras there. We build those cameras right here in Hampton, Virginia. That's exciting, isn't it? Now, there's another thing that we tried. We're always trying to do something to show how the camera works. Do you know what this is? What? A TV. A TV tube. That's right. That's the, the tube that goes inside the big TV set. We wanted to see what happened when this broke. So we took a great big heavy lead. Lead's real heavy. We took a big heavy lead bar and we hit the side of it. You can see right here where this lead ball hit. And look what happened to this TV. It broke up in a million pieces. Didn't it? <laughs> now these cameras are also used for scientific things, like right here. One of our photographers, <coughs> they were there at Cape Canaveral when this rock, this missile was shot. And they got this picture. Isn't that nice? Yeah. You couldn't get this picture with just your little camera that your mom and dad used because it wouldn't shoot fast. And we also have a camera that doesn't just shoot fast. This camera is it's called a panoramic camera. And you can set this camera up and it'll start right here, and it goes all the way around, comes all the way back. 360 degrees, that's a complete circle, right? <coughs> we have one of our photographers to take our panoramic camera and set it out so that when the missile was shot, it would take the picture from this. Now this is this is a complete circle. This is one end of it, and that's the other end of it. And this is the picture they got. And you know how they did this? It happened real early in the morning. So they had to take the camera out and set it up at night after dark. And we fixed it so that the sound of this missile taken off, started the camera to run just by the sound. And as soon as the camera started running, the missile took off, the camera started running and it took the picture out of the so on. Isn't that pretty? Yes. This is another shot of one of the missiles that was taken.
what it would be if I took a picture of one of you doing something. And since the only one I knew in the class was Corey, I conned him in to let me take his picture. And we did two different shots. We went out to the monkey bars that you play in all the time. And I got, I'll, I'll pass these, put these out. They're small, so you might not be able to see them here. But what we did, we let Corey stand on the monkey bar up here and jump off. And you can see everything he did from the time he jumped off till he got to the bottom. Now look how many pictures I took and how long do you think it took him to jump? Just like that, he was gone and that's how many pictures we took. So I will put these up here so you all can look at them. Maybe over here. Because uh, 
I don't know whether you all would remember this or not, but not long ago, several years, there was a rocket, uh, a missile that went up and it had a school teacher in it and several people that were killed and they didn't know what happened to the rocket ship. Finally, after a lot of research, they found out from pictures made with their cameras what happened to this this missile, and they were they were able to fix it, so it would never happen again. So we feel like we're we're really giving something to science because of what we do. Corey, how do we hook the wire? Okay, when we when we do the electronics on the camera, we have very small wires, and these wires are hooked with solder. Solder, and you solder the wires to the posts in the camera, so the the electronics will work.
We took a very hot, a heavy ball made out of leaves and we threw it against the TV tube because it was no good. It was an old TV tube that wouldn't work anymore. We just wanted to see what would happen. You could see it breaking up before it finally exploded. Here's something you might be really interested in. This is baseball. And a long, long time ago, one of our photographers took this picture. Now, you have to understand what happened here. The batter hit a home run. Okay, you know what a home run is? It's all the way out into the bleachers, right? So there was a man standing right here. You'll have to come and see it as you go out. He was standing right here, and he was trying to so hard to catch the ball that was hit. And he got so excited, he was drinking a Coke. And he stood up and he knocked this Coke over. Well, this guy right here, the baseball player, was trying to catch the ball because he didn't know it was going to be a home run and go up in the bleachers. So he was standing there watching for the ball. And the man's Coke fell down on top of him and went all over it. <laughs> and then somehow or other, the photographer that was taking these pictures caught that. So he was he was real popular for a long time. He, the picture was in all of the New York papers, all of the big newspapers around. <laughs> This is something else we're going to have to set up so you can come around. We also have a camera that the film never stops. The camera stands still and the film just keeps going by. And this is the size film it uses. It's pretty big. It's bigger than the normal film. This is called 70 millimeters. Okay, we have a photographer that set his camera up and he turned how fast the train was going by. The train was a circus train. All the pretty cars in a circus train. And he, he turned how fast it was going with a radar gun. You know how the policemen have radar on their, on their cars? Okay, you can time things with this. So he turned how fast this train was going and he set the film in the camera to go the same speed. So what he did, this is all one picture now. He took a picture of a circus train. And this cam this train was going by. It was moving the same time that the camera was moving. But the camera was setting still, the film was moving fast, and the train was moving. So you can see every one of the little circus cars on here with the elephants and the lions and the tigers. Yes, ma'am. It's a big train. <laughs> that is a big train. It really is. The people that fell out of the car, they were dummies. So nothing happened to them. They were just, oh, well, you mean in the roller coaster pictures or, or in the car that they were? Yeah, the, car. the car. That was a car company that just put dummies in the car to show what would happen if you and I were in that car and we had a wreck. Okay? I guess we need to put this up somewhere, too. Now, would any of you like to be a photographer?
photographer when you grow up? Wouldn't that be fun? You can take your camera out, you can take pictures of baseball games and snooze, news events. And that would be fun, wouldn't it? And, and you know that most of the cameras that are used today are made in Japan. But we make one here, right in Hampton, Virginia, that nobody else in the world makes. Isn't that nice? Okay, let's see. Um, um, the one, the one, the the um, circus train, train crash? No, the circus train didn't crash. They just wanted to show how pretty it was. But, um, but did the, um, another train coming almost there have been pictures taken of trains that crashed but I don't have them with me today they didn't fall out on the track <laughs> okay how about you sweetie you have a question how can you see through the, the big camera, camera like You see, that? you know how, have you ever taken your mom and dad's camera and looked through it? No. Yeah. No. 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 Well, you can, you can see through our cameras the same as you can see through these cameras. Okay, I've got one more question. Uh, somebody I haven't asked. How about you? No, the guys in the roller coasters were real people, and that's what they do for a living. They're they're called stunt people, and they, you know, you sometimes you see on TV the the horses riding real fast, and somebody would fall off of a horse. These are stunt people, and they practice, and they know just how to fall so they won't get hurt. Okay, I really enjoyed talking to you all today. I appreciate you asking me. And if you ever want to be a photographer, tell Corey to get in touch with his mama, and I'll tell you just how to do it. Okay, we need to thank her for coming in.